I wanted to make a submarine, so I made a little cardboard piece that's shaped like this bottle because it goes in this bottle and what it had on it was these motors, a gearbox thing with a syringe on it, and it had the battery, this battery and this circuit board. But then Daddy saw what I was trying to do, so he he wanted to help me design a sub a better submarine that would work better. So we decided that we wanted to put it in this jar because if we had a lid that goes on top, then it would be easier to get to stuff and work on stuff if it's broken. So he designed a SolidWorks part right here for the motor to go in, for the gearbox to go in, and the syringe is right here, and there's a little pulley that pulls the plunger of the syringe back, and the syringe pulls in water to make the submarine heavier, so it sinks. We made a 3D printed part, and we made tiny wheels to, to roll on the syringe, and it has three little wheels on it to roll on the syringe so that the syringe doesn't get scratched by the plastic and that it really helps so that the syringe stays sealed and it doesn't leak water into the mechanism. And this little thing right here is from a bike tire. It has air in it so that when you put the to it, to it to the air compressor then the air pressure pushes the plunger back because if there was no air pressure then the plunger wouldn't go back when the motor would turn. So we put nearly 7 psi in here. The epoxy helps to seal this jar so that it's very airtight. We made a mold out of SolidWorks and 3D printed it and then we put plaster in the mold we made and <clears throat> we let the plaster harden and then we put the lead inside the plaster mold and let it cool off and we made this little slab here that's the right weight for the submarine to sink. And this gearbox, this um, circuit board right here was from a common remote control car. And these diodes make it so that if I push a lever forward, it turns one of these motors, and if I push the other lever forward, it turns one, and both, it turns both. And if I push it backwards, then this thing comes like this and it pulls it in. And if I push the other lever backwards, it turns it the other way to let it go. So I can make it, I can make it dive or go up or turn like this. So the way it goes together is you put this o-ring on here like this and make sure it touches the bottom like that. This thing is a weird shape. It's it's shaped all like this side's higher than this side because of the angle this thing has to go in the jar. So the way you put it in is you put angle this like that and then do that, put it down like that. And then you push this down. And then you put this, this is a cover it screws on. So right now it's pulling in water and making it heavier. And now it's going to push it out and make it lighter. Okay, I'm going to make this submarine dive, <clears throat> go forward, turn, and come up. When the submarine goes down in the water, it becomes silent. And then when I make it come back up and make it go forward, the little motors sound like, <laughs> sound like a bee <laughs> coming up.
we put a cone on the submarine so that the submarine would, would go straight because it had a natural tendency to turn when we pushed both of the propellers forward. Isn't that cool?